Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Michael Mollicone. I'm a recent graduate from the sculpture program at Rhode Island College. This is my final senior project, Mousy's Bar. Really, uh, I, I feel like I've tapped into a lot of places I knew from my childhood uh, and a lot of people that I knew growing up when I made this. Um, I, I was really thinking, what am I going to do to build my work uh, since my previous semester? And I was struggling to think of ways to make it more interesting, playing with set, because set is something I was really uh, interested in. And I was kind of just in my yard working, uh, listening to Frank Sinatra on my headphones. And the song started, and I just immediately clicked in my head, like, maybe I should make a scenery, like a set for this music that I'm listening to, something that I, I know very well. And I kind of thought in my mind, maybe this old bar, this classic bar. And really, as I just kept diving into it and pulling it apart in my head, I, I tapped into all these little memories of mine, films that I've watched, people that I knew, places that I've been to. And it kind of came together to create this in the end. Um, when I was making it, I had a lot of ideas come to me. And I kind of had to sort through them as I went. Um, I had to not throw out, but set aside some ideas that I thought maybe this could work for something better in the future, or maybe this is really good for Mousies, but maybe it could work even better for this next project that I'm thinking of. So as I made this, I, I had a lot of great ideas come to me, which was a great, you know, great help for me in the process, but it helped me also to cut away parts, uh, ideas that I knew were just going to be too big to fit in here. It's already such a big piece on its own. It was great being able to experience, uh, you know, the process of figuring out what I was going to make. Um, and then actually putting it together, uh, I had to rearrange a lot in the planning stages. I didn't expect it to be <laughs> this three-dimensional. I was going to make something flatter initially. But as I worked through it, I thought maybe it could be interesting to walk around a piece and to see things from different angles. Uh, maybe it'll be easier to actually visualize something one side at a time instead of gathering all this information at once. All those little bits and pieces kind of came together in the planning stages of making this. And throughout the first month or so of actually working through the idea of building mousies, then once I actually got in the studio, it was great because I had this foundation to work off of and uh, the semester I, I kind of hit with a running start. Well, I started by drawing everything out. Um, initially, I, I had ideas for like a kitchen, uh, a bathroom, like other, other parts of this, you know, complex. Um, and again, like I had to cut a lot of that away. The main focus always in my drawings and my plans was always this centerpiece, the, the bar room itself, was always going to be the main attraction here. Um, but I still wanted there to be more of an environment, not only the bar itself, but where the bar is, like where it belongs. So through planning uh, and through my initial drawings, I kind of figured out a lot of that. And I would draw in spots for where everybody was going to go. Um, sometimes I, I wouldn't know what they were going to look like or, or who they were going to be or what their personality was going to be particularly, but I would think compositionally there should be a body there or there should be a body there or maybe somebody should be doing something over in this part of the room. I knew exactly what I wanted or who I wanted somebody to be and it was a matter of figuring out where to place them in the scene. So definitely uh, in the planning stages when I was drawing, making a lot of sketches over and over again, I, I figured a lot of that stuff out before actually going in and, and just making something right away. A lot of them, um, a lot of them are faces that I knew from just walking out on the street, like people that I'd see in places I think they have kind of a nice face, which is weird to say, but it's interesting, like some people kind of stood out to me. Some people, like I, I thought, man, like that's, you know, somebody that I could see being in this place. And others, others I gathered from types of people that I saw in movies, like character types. And seeing a lot of those uh, characters helped me to build people for this. And other people 
I just uh, figured out what I wanted them to look like through extensively sketching and figuring out, you know, there's a body that should be there, who should be there, maybe have this elderly couple, warm and inviting, be the first people that you see when you go into this place. So, it, you know, it kind of ends a little bit more of a lighthearted feel to it. So that, that was all something that, you know, I would see certain people and think, you know, maybe, maybe they would work in here. And there's still people like, I, I always keep in mind whenever I'm out somewhere, I like to people watch and uh, it inspires me a little bit for other projects still. I think, man, like, you know, that person has a nice face. Maybe I'll go home and I'll try to make a quick sketch and see if I could remember. And it's good too, because remembering something, it's not exact, but it's certain things that stand out to you or what you remember when you're sketching. And, you know, it helps me to kind of make them more uh, exaggerated and funny. And because you could say all of these people are very <laughs> exaggerated in their own way. It is very different from my previous work. My previous work has a very dark design to it, very moody, a lot of blues, a lot of like moody lighting even. Uh, this, I wanted it to be more inviting um, because I wanted it to be very active. And it's tough to make something that's very moody while also being very active and fun. So I didn't kind of ease into it. I wanted it to be very, very in your face. So I tried to add little humorous elements to it so people could have fun while they actually saw it. And that inviting feel, uh, it, it makes a viewer want to actually step in and experience the work. So it was definitely a change of pace for me, but it's something that I embraced instead of, you know, not being too sure about. Um, I definitely wanted to embrace that fully so that whoever looks at this will actually want to look at it and point out little humorous elements and point out little funny characters that they see. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm glad that I can do both. <laughs> well, I don't know about um, this specifically. I have other ideas for series or for pieces that could fit into a series with this. But I also have a lot of other ideas where instead of a, a big room with a lot of activity, maybe it's just a scene with a couple people interacting. Or maybe even one person and the space itself helps to tell the story. So in the process of this, I said I, I came up with a lot of new ideas. Not all of those ideas were to the scale that this is, but it was working at the scale that helped me to come up with smaller pieces. and. Again, like, they wouldn't all work in unison with Mousies, but maybe a couple of pieces on their own would fit together and tell a story. And maybe, maybe even if I did make more works and related, you know, related to Mousies, I would use people that are in there already. And, you know, maybe it adds to their story. You could see them in multiple pieces. Whenever I got really frustrated in the process of making this, which it happened a lot, it was very tedious and it took a long time, I would always focus on making some minuscule little detail that I wasn't even sure if anybody would see. But what I had the most fun with and what would cool me down when I got stressed was making the little pictures because I could sit down and instead of focusing on this, big piece, I can work at a small scale, this little tiny piece of paper and make something, quick, quick painting. And then the process of just making it look like it was put in a frame was really fun to me. I had this clear PV, uh, PVC sheeting that I would put over to make it look like a glass frame. And I try to make them different designs when I'd actually make the frame pieces. Um, so those little details, like I have a little Frank Sinatra in there that I, I that was one of the first ones I made. And the little uh, Elect Russo sign is actually a little Easter egg for my family. Uh, that was my grandpa who was a politician. So I kind of went off of one of his old campaign signs. But a lot of those little things were just um, not so much to fill the space. I mean, they were to fill the space, but it was also to make it fun for me while I was making the piece, because that was important to me too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I hope that 
you know, whoever's watching this can come and enjoy this show. There's so many great artists here with work up. And I hope that you could be immersed in this as well. I hope that you enjoy it. But thank you very much.